Race number eight is a class three over the uh, the 1200 meters uh, here. The field is headed by Winning Method. He already got to the start once at Happy Valley, but with withdrawn. That was back on the sixth. Uh, kind of cool. He makes his return here um, on Wednesday night. He was a two-time winner. Uh, course and distance last season. Classic Posh won course and distance last time out. Transcendent runner up to Seven Heavens last time. Good luck, good luck should roll forward from barrier number three. Spontaneous off the all weather for Paulo Sullivan. Luke Ferraris from barrier 12. Nearly fine. Makes his Hong Kong debut for Casper Fans and Karis Teton. And down to Smiling City, who was runner up behind Decisive 12 last time out. First up this season. Now, as far as the uh, the speed map is concerned for this one, Mark, we're saying good in the early stages. Uh, who are the winners and losers here? We've got uh, Colonel and Jolly Good Heart showing good speed. Colonel's drawn in barrier number eight this week. Jolly Good Heart, he's drawn down in barrier two. The other horse, Paul, with plenty of early speed is good luck, good luck. And he is drawn right in between them in barrier number three. And he goes his best races when he can find the lead too. Yeah, so if he pushes up, you might be more on the good to fast um, side of things. So I think the horse is going to get the best run is winning method just in behind. Uh, he should get a really nice run. Uh, the other one, Classic Posh at the back there, he's going to be suited by a fast pace. So the faster the better for him. Uh, Zach will be licking his chops there if they, if they do overcook it in front. A smiling City given a perfect trip when he was massively back behind Decisive 12 last time. He's doing it tough on the speed map out there, three wide from the wider draw this week. All right, we'll have a look up at the key races uh, in a moment or so. Let's start off though with Paul O'Sullivan. He trains spontaneous. Also got spontaneous in. He's a much better horse than what we saw first up. Yeah, we'll put the blinkers on him and I think that's going to be um, a big help to him. He sort of... He just went through the motions this last couple of runs. Didn't show a great deal of enthusiasm, but uh, again, the barrier's not going to be a help. He went around on the all-weather first up. Is that maybe part of the reason for his failure as well? No, he always trialled pretty well on the all-weather, and, um, and I thought he'd be just as happy there as what he was at Happy Valley. But he, he sort of got in behind them and never travelled, and um, hopefully the blinkers will sharpen him up. You trialled him in the blinkers, and he did look sharper in them. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, he's won from wide gates in the past, but uh, there's a lot of speed in this race, so can he follow speed and still run on? Well, we'll, we'll find out after race eight, but um, I think that'll be the tactic. I was just looking at it last night and I thought, can we, you're going to burn a lot of petrol to get across there and uh, it might be a good opportunity to change our riding tactics. All right, some good information there from Paul as far as uh, spontaneous um, is concerned. We have a look, though, at uh, the last start winner here of um, Classic Posh and Colonel. Uh, Paul, Colonel drawn down on the inside. Hasn't fared quite as well at the, uh, at the barriers this time round. He's a little bit further out. Yeah, so he's going to have to work a little bit to, to get to that pace. But uh, we know he does have that early speed. So they'll be really hunting him out of the... Um, the gates, I think. And, and look, Classic Posh goes back anyway. He's drawn seven, so he'll just slide back and just want pace on. You can see Classic Posh well back here running on. Look, Colonel was off and gone here, and it was a good uh, uh, piece of work here from Classic Posh to reel him in late. I think he might get a bit more pressure this week too, Colonel, with horses like Good Luck, Good Luck and Jolly Good Heart in the race and can see a lot of similarities on the way that Classic Posh finishes that race this week. Colonel gets a £5 turnaround for that beating uh, as well. See if that's enough to level things up a little bit. Uh, Smiling City, we're going to have a look at now finishing uh, in second place. Transcendent 30. He's had a run since uh, Mark, unfinished runner up himself. Not Rhapsody's night this occasion. Like Transcendent here, Andrew, with the barrier draw. He gets the £5 claim this week for Jerry Chow. So that second, uh, which was last time out, this is two runs ago. He carried £131. He drops down to 124 here. And uh, he had Barry one behind seven heavens. Paul, like him out of his recent racing. Yeah, look, he's been quite consistent, hasn't he? And he's got that inside draw again, so he'll definitely get his chance. OK, and then moving on to the uh, the trials, we'll see uh, winning methods. So trials um, since he was withdrawn, Paul, um, the last meeting here, and nearly fine. What do we know about him? OK, so nearly fine as, as a new horse on the scene. I do like the winning method uh, trial here. He's 111, 17 pounds. He's had the three trials to get him on. The reason I haven't got him in, he wore blinkers in Australia. He's not wearing the blinkers here, but I really like that trial of winning method. He actually wore blinkers in that trial nearly fine, and Paul is right, he's not wearing them on race day, so maybe when he gets the blinkers down the track, if he doesn't perform first up, might be uh, the way to go with him, but definitely winning method. OK, he's one to watch then, he's about 20 to 1 nearly fine. Our favourite's transcendent, Paul, what do you think? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm going to go with winning method, though. I just really like that trial. I like the fact he's coming back to 1,200 metres, and I just think he's going to get the best run in the race, and he's in the right grade now in Class 3. He has been running in Class 2. A spontaneous with the blinkers on, he'll get back, he'll be running on late. A colonel out from the front, if he doesn't lead, he can be just in behind the pace. 
And then kind of cool. He's got a good fresh up record, kind of cool. Uh, Joe aboard from Barry number five. He can sit in behind the pace as well. So good race, 1892. Transcending gets his chance again. Beautifully drawn and a weight allowance for Jerry Chow. He's been racing well around Happy Valley. A winner there in May. He's had two starts this time in. A third behind Decisive 12. Then carried 131 when second behind Seven Heavens. Big weight drop this week. Classic Posh, the anticipated speed in the race, is going to suit him. Winning method, Matthew Chadwick on board. He has a good record on the horse too. And kind of cool comes here first up. He's had a couple of trials up at Chung Fa. 4-3, 1 and 2. One and four, my cue there in the last. I thought winning method and transcendent. Looks like he's just about got his foot on the tiller as well there in race number eight. 